What is Stripe payment and how does it work? Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can get started with Stripe. Now, before we get started with Stripe, we actually might want to understand what Stripe really is, what this platform offers. So Stripe is one of the world's most popular financial infrastructure tools. They allow you to accept payments, send and receive payments, and you can use Stripe for business as well as personal reasons. Stripe has multiple different types of solutions depending on the size of your business, whether you are an e-commerce store or a marketplace or a retail store or by different use cases as well. Not only that, but Stripe has its own ecosystem with other professional services and partners. So Stripe Payments is one of the products of Stripe, which allows us to send online payments in the form of payment links, as well as authentication, and it's used in multiple different pre-existing popular applications. You can also optimize your checkout experience, and you have flexible UI components that can easily be adjusted and customized according to your own brand. All of these amazing features are going to enable you to ensure that your payment system is a payment system that is seamless and it is something that people are going to be using very easily. So to get started with Stripe, simply head on over to stripe.com payments and then you can click on get started. Now, I already have a business account, so I'm just going to move directly into my business account. If you don't have one, all you have to do is proceed with your business information and personal information. So if you want your account to actually be fully functional, you do have to verify a few of your business bits, including your business address, any taxation information, so it is ensured that your business is a legal business. Now, once you've done that, this is what your Stripe account is going to look like. You guys can see that this particular business profile is in the test mode because I haven't verified all of the business information. Now on the left, you will see the title of your business and you can click on settings and you can change your profile, business information, team and security, billing and payments. Now over here, if you click on payments, you can choose your payment, checkout and payment links and how you want them to function, including the different payment methods that you're accepting. We have billing payments, default and default. We can click on create configuration and we can set up our own configuration as well. And we also have adaptive pricing, linking, and custom payment methods, which we can add. Now, Stripe payments have multiple different sub-sectors, you could say. And if you open up payments, you will see disputes, radars, payment links, and terminals. Now, one other thing that is pretty close to payment is invoicing, and you're going to find it directly under the payment section in billing. In billing, you have your subscriptions, invoices, meters, and revenue recovery. Now to get started with payments, you want to get started by building a payment system. So to be able to accept payments directly on Stripe, you want to add your product or services, whether you're selling a one-time use product, a subscription, or a renewable product. You're simply going to go into product catalog on the left. Once you do that, you're going to click on create product to start creating your product. Then you're going to name it. Whether it's a service or a product, it does not matter. You're going to get started in the same way. And for us, this is going to be our yellow set. And then you're going to add a description. This appears at checkout on the customer portals and in codes as well. Then you're going to click on upload to upload images of your product. So I'm just going to do that and I'm going to take a few images for my product like so. And I'm going to name this yellow cord set. Then after that, I can click on more options and you can also use a couple of different automation tools such as Stripe taxing tools to calculate taxes whenever you add a product. But we are not going to do that. We can also add metadata, unit labels, marketing feature lists as well. And then below that, you have your payment. Now here is where a lot of people do get confused, especially if you have tiered pricing or cutoff or usage-based pricing. So the most simple type of pricing is one-off pricing, which means someone buys this yellow clothing set and that is it. They pay me once. However, if you click on more pricing options, you will see you have other types of pricing, including a package pricing where if people bundle multiple different items together, they can get a discount. You can choose package pricing over here and select the package amount. So let's say it's going to be ten dollars per five and then after that i can choose um, more units and i can add a larger bundle price like so 
Then below that, we also have customer chooses price. This is usually done for donations when you are collecting any random amount of donations that people would like to give. Then on the other hand, you have re recurring price. So your basic flat rate recurring pricing means that you're going to charge the customer a certain price once. Then at the end of next month or at the same date on the next month, they will be charged the same price again. Usually this is done for services. However, within your recurring prices, you also have package pricing. So you can do package pricing, which means you bundle different services or items together and this will be charged on a monthly basis then you also have tiered pricing where you can offer different price points based upon the unit quantity so let's say this is going to be tiered pricing on the basis of volume or graduated tiers apply progressively as quantity increases or all units priced based on final tier reached now I want to apply a graduated tiered pricing. Now the difference between volume and graduated means, let's say in graduated tiered pricing, the first, you know, pantsuit set that they buy from me, it's going to be $100. Then the next one is going to be 90. The next one is going to be 80. The next one is going to be 70. And because they're purchasing five ones, so they're basically going to have to pay 100 plus 90 plus 80 plus 70 plus 60, okay? However, with volume-based pricing, it's going to be priced based upon the final unit reached, which basically means that if they're purchasing five pantsuits and I ended up uh, saying that $50 was the price for the fifth, that means they're going to be paying $50 for each one of the pantsuits. And that's the difference between volume-based and graduated pricing. Usually for most people, graduated pricing is what they're looking for when they're trying to find this kind of pricing. But for our clothing option, we're going to add a simple product like so. Now, once we've added our product, it's time to build our payment link. So we're going to go into payments on the left and then click on payment links, then click on new. Once you click on new on the top right, you're going to select your yellow cord set or whatever you named it. And once you do that, you're going to let customers adjust the quantity. And I usually like to set this between zero to five simply because no one is buying more than five at a time and it just looks a bit better. And you can add other products and add recommended products as well. Then you can choose to collect taxes, collect customer addresses, billing addresses, and shipping addresses, as well as customers to provide a phone number. Then after that, you have your after payment, which is your confirmation page, and you can replace the default message with a custom message as well as create a invoice PDF if you want. However, there are charges for that. It is going to cost you up to a maximum of $2 per invoice. It's usually just 0.4% of the transaction total. Once done, click on create link on the top right. And just like that, your payment link has been created. Now you can copy this link and go into Google Sites or whatever tool you're using, your portfolio, your socials, link tree, your one link, wherever you want to sell your product. And you can copy this URL and use the Stripe payment system to accept payments anywhere and to sell products and services at any time. And it's really this easy to use. Not only that, but Stripe is completely free. After you get started with Stripe, all you have to do is pay 2.9% plus 30 cents on every successful transaction on domestic cards. This payment does differ based upon international payments and other payment options. So for links, it's the same, but if you go for bank debits and transfers, it's 0.8%. And for international payment methods, it's 80 cents. Then if you go for buy now, pay later systems, you have 5.99% and a 30 cent charge. So you can go through this entire pricing on stripe.com slash pricing. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.